In our previous lesson, we looked at the two-sum problem as well as its general solution, but what happens if the input that we are provided is sorted? Can we utilize this fact to our advantage? And indeed we can, and that is the problem and the solution that we will look at in this lesson, and we will be able to get rid of the overhead of hash maps in terms of their memory as well as their optimistic linear time performance, and get more real-world linear time performance. And this will help you build intuition about using sorted arrays to your advantage as well. So let's go. Here's the problem statement in its entirety. We are given an array of numbers and a target number that we are looking for. And we have to return the indices of the two numbers that add up to the target. This is the same as the two sum problem except one key difference. The numbers that are provided to us are sorted in ascending order. The assumptions are same as well that the problem will have one solution and we cannot use the same element and therefore the same index twice. And of course, just in case not provided, you should always come up with and walk through an example to make sure that you understand the problem correctly. Now, unlike twosome, you are going to need some divine intuition in order to solve this particular problem. But once you see it, it is pretty easy to remember and it does help with future problems as well. That intuitive realization is the fact that the target value is going to be the sum of some small value from the left hand side of the array, as well as some large value from the right hand side of the array. To understand this a bit more, let's run through the example step by step. We have left set to the smallest number, which is 2, and right set to the largest number, which is 24, and we compare the sum of these two numbers against the target value of 22. We get the answer 26, which is greater than 22, which means that our large number is too big and we need to go a bit smaller. So to decrease the total sum, we decrease our left from 24 down to 15, and then we check the sum of 2 plus 15 and compare it against 22. In this particular case, it is less than 22, which means that we now have to increment our small value. In the next step, we check 7 instead of 2, and that combined with 15 gives us our desired value of 22, and therefore the indices of 7 and 15 is the desired solution. With this example explanation out of the way, let's start coding up our solution. The first thing of course will be to write the function signature that takes an array of numbers and a target number value and returns the tuple containing the indices of the two numbers that add up to that target. And just in case we end up in a situation where we don't find a solution, we will throw a simple error. Now we will need two variables to store the indices of the numbers that we are looking at. One will be called left and we will initialize it to zero and the other will be called right which we will initialize to the last index in the array. And that's it for the gravy, let's jump into the meat and potatoes. We're going to be incrementing left and decrementing right and we need to terminate if left becomes equal to right because that means we are looking at the same element twice which means that we didn't find a solution. So our termination condition is going to be left should be less than right. And in each iteration of the loop, we will check the sum of the left as well as the right number and if it is equal to the target, congratulations, we have found our solution and we can return the left and right indices. Otherwise, if sum is less than the target, that means that the left number is too small and we increment left. Otherwise, it means that the right number is too big and we decrement right. In terms of space complexity, it is now a constant as we are only maintaining two simple variables, left and right. And in terms of time complexity, it is O of n that is linear because we are only looping through the input array once. I'll wrap things up there, smash that like and subscribe to level up your coding skills. For example, check out this other lesson on the base to some problem as well as any of the lessons within the coding interview playlist. Thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next one.